What's good, YouTube? This is your girl, Miss Golden83, here with uh, a new spread that I'm going to be inter mm, introducing into um, rotation. It's called Bring Back the Intimacy. I'm going to be bringing back the intimacy. This is for my couples so if you are in a relationship and you are trying to bring back the intimacy um we are going to be using the sexual magic tarot deck um, for these readings um plus a mixture of my own self-created decks as well um so definitely let me know how you guys like these um, they'll be in uh, rotation every other week with the regular tarot. So I'm still learning this deck. Um, so hopefully we get better as we go along. But just remember that these are general messages. They are not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next. Okay. Um, so let's let's get this love thing going for you guys this intimacy okay so what let's see we've already yeah I've already shuffled but you know spirit is telling me to go ahead and reshuffle again for you guys so we're just gonna give these a few shuffles we'll do two more just to make sure we have them nice and mixed up here um, doing primarily three card spread if possible um, but if something comes out extra it was actually meant obviously meant to come out um, I got something about threes I don't know why I got a thing for three times a charm okay so that's three and then I usually cut by three Okay, so let's get into your reading. All right, Taurus. I am a Taurus, um, sun um, and rising. Um, I have a Libra moon and a, I have Gemini in my Venus. Okay, so that's a little bit about me. All right, but this is about y'all. Let's get that intimacy back. Okay. So, spirit, how can, I ain't even asked the question and already stepped and jumped out. Spirit, how can Taurus bring the intimacy back into their relationship? How can Taurus bring the intimacy back into their relationship? Three cards, spirit. How can Taurus bring the intimacy back into their relationship? Keep it simple, spirit. How can Taurus bring the intimacy back into their relationship? Okay. So we got two here. One more spirit for Taurus. How can they bring the intimacy back into their relationship? One more for Taurus spirit. Keep it simple. Too many. Too many. How can Taurus bring the intimacy back into their relationship spirit? One card, please. One card for Taurus. How can they bring the intimacy back into their relationship spirit? Okay, we got a flipper there. And let me make sure nothing else flipped over. Nope. No. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, sorry y'all, but they all like fell into my lap right when I was getting ready to put the deck down. And then one flew over up underneath the table to the side there. Okay, so we only doing these three that originally came out to us, so I'm sorry. All right, so we have 
the now please be advised this is for 18 and up this is not for the kids okay so we have strength strength the knave of swords which i believe is considered the knight of swords and justice Justice. Okay. Taurus. My bull game. Okay. And I feel like Spirit is saying you guys need to show some strength with your significant other or have strength to kind of take over and bring your own bring yourself your own justice in your relationship um Your person is admires you, I feel, with this knave of swords. All right, I'm not going to keep it up there long because it's explicit. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I ain't trying to get flagged, okay? But, um... I do. I feel like your person um, wants you to be upfront and honest about what it is that you want. And with justice being here, um, I think whatever you ask for, you will receive. Okay? Just be truthful about what it is that you want out of the relationship. Um, like I said, they they admire you. They they love your honesty um, inside and outside of the bedroom. Okay. Um, you just have to have strength. Even though this isn't a bull here, this is a is a wild boar. I feel like you're taming the beast within them, within your person, okay? Um, you have the strength to tame them. I'm, I'm hearing you tame the wild beast because you're everything in more than what they anticipated you to be. They, they know you have the strength to tame them and to handle them. Um, they've seen your strength and know your strength. Um, I think they love your, your physique, especially your beauty, your beauty. Your booty. I don't know what a booty is, but your booty. Okay. Apparently, they they love your booty. The way he's just staring at her um, from behind. Okay. But I feel like your person is is in awe of you, and I think you will be the person to deliver justice to this relationship um, where it's like you'll be setting the tone and this person is just going to follow your lead that's what I feel okay Taurus okay so we're going to go in with my self created deck with spirit these are 101 a hundred and one songs that were channeled to me by spirit 
So what what songs should be in your your playlist to bring back the intimacy? Okay? What songs should be in Taurus's playlist with their person? Okay. That's one. Can we get two more for Taurus Spirit? Two more for Taurus. Keep it simple, Spirit. Keep it simple. Okay, we got more than we asked for. We got four. Make sure nothing flipped over. So, Taurus, we have Come Through and Chill by Miguel with J. Cole. Can't Believe It, T-Pain and Lil Wayne. Ooh, I can't believe it. She all on me, on me. I think she want me, want me. I can't leave her lonely, no. Okay, they don't wanna leave you lonely. They want to come through and chill, or you want them to come through and chill. And then we have I Wish by Carl Thomas. And Give Me the Reason by Luther Vandross. Okay. I'm going to sit up here and sing for y'all. My throat has been in and out all day. But um, very good songs, okay? Um, Carl Thomas, I wish. Um, if y'all go and look up that song um, with the chorus. Even though I love her so... And she's got love for me, but she still belongs to someone else. Yeah, wish I never met her. Um, I feel like they're thinking about not you per se with Carl Thomas. I wish I think they are thinking about their ex. Um, as far as they wish they never met their ex, they wish they would have met you first, Taurus. Um, that's for some of you. But they love some some very endearing qualities about you. Um, that make them want to come through and chill. Um, they can't believe that they that you chose them because they feel like you can have anybody, but I can't believe it being here. Um, give me the reason, Luther Vandross. Um, if y'all remember, it, well, for some of y'all, y'all don't remember or never heard of that song, go look it up. Very great song, give me the reason. Um, I feel like this is you, Taurus, like, telling this person give me the reason to want you period because I think you know there's been like with the come through and chill like is it just on some chill shit is this I think you've been with this person you know you've been trying to figure out whether or not if it's more than just a fling or is it just more than physical or whatever with this person um, or is it primarily physical I think you want more um, than that from this person 
um, you've been trying to have a lot of strength with this person um, or in this relationship so you're like give me the reason to want you back that's what Luther says in the song give me the reason to want you back uh, they to want to love them because um, maybe you fell out of love waiting for this person uh, to bring you the justice that, that you know you deserve um, to bring you truth um, and in the song he's like you know tell me how to forgive and forget you know, in order to love the the person. So right now you're like, give give me the real reason, okay, to even give this a chance. Okay, you want some type of proofs. Proofs. Some type of proof. Uh the proof is in the pudding, okay? But those are your songs uh for you to listen to, Taurus. Let me know if those resonate for you. Okay, we're going to go in with the love oracles to find out what's the energy between you and your person. Okay. And again, if you're in a couple, you know, what's the energy between the two of you? Okay. So spirit, what is the energy between Taurus and their person? What is the energy between Taurus and their person? Keep it simple, Spirit. What is the energy between Taurus and their person? Give me three cards for Taurus and their person. Keep it simple, spirit. Three cards for Taurus and their person. There's one. With these, they are sometimes hard to shuffle. So whatever slides out, I let slide out. There's two. And two more. I wanted three, but we got four instead. Okay. So maybe your person has a lot to say. All right. Or the energy is very strong between the two of you. So we have manifesting miracles, manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Okay. So if this is a connection that hasn't happened yet, maybe you guys are either you or your person is manifesting you two to come together in in union and get over this hump uh to get a deeper intimacy between one another we then have time time you are trying too hard give it time okay so taurus spirit is saying if you've been the one giving in this relationship or being the one to start things off um, or initiate a lot of the time, you're trying too hard. Pull, I feel like uh, either you or your person has been pulling their energy back, okay? Um, possibly more so you, Taurus. Um, even though, you know, Tauruses are patient, um, if you give them a reason not to be, or they feel like it's not going anywhere, it was just 1919, um, I just saw, um, but if you feel it with Tauruses, if they feel like their time is wasted, they will, you know, they, they have hope. We have a lot of hope, but our patience sometimes can wear pretty thin if we feel like it's not being reciprocated, Okay. So, but the next one we have here is Secret Admirer. Secret Admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Okay? 
So your person definitely has a lot of feelings for you that run deeper than what you know. Um, they, I feel like, have some fear about this connection. Um, and maybe they're trying to find the strength to come towards you uh, to bring bring you some truth uh, to the situation, okay? And be honest and upfront with you um, about how they really feel. The next one is freedom. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be, okay? So, this can go one or two ways, okay? Even with give me the reason being here, kind of leaning on that underneath freedom, you have free will, okay? Nothing is stopping you. Um, basically, you for some of you, Taurus, you are probably in limbo in trying to figure out whether or not if you're with this person or if you're going to solidify a relationship with this person. Um, and so you have the freedom. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay, so meaning you don't have ties to this person just yet. Y'all have not determined the relationship. However, your loyalty does lie within this person, whether they know it or not, okay? But there's nothing stopping you from doing what you want, or there's nothing stopping some of you from moving towards this relationship. Um, I feel like if you were to come out and say something to your person, they may reciprocate and finally fess up to you about how they feel, okay? Because they have deeper feelings for you than they're letting on, okay? From what the card says here. So it's a little bit of mixed emotions going on here. Where it's up to your person with time being here. I think you've made the decision that you want to be with this person, but it's up to them to come to you, okay? So just keep doing what you're doing, okay? Um, and let this person come in due time when, when they choose to, okay? Roll with the, roll with the vibe, okay? Um, we're going to go in and pull two cards first before I let you guys know what it is, 2323, um, as we get in here. I'm going to pull uh, a goddess uh, card for my divine feminines and an animal spirit for the divine masculines. Get in where you fit in here, okay? Which goddess should Taurus Divine Feminine embrace? Okay. I saw this one earlier. It attracted, it kind of attracted my eye, caught my eye, and it ended up coming out. Sorry, y'all. I got my window open, so y'all going to hear AC, uh, neighbors, things of that nature apartment living at its finest so excuse any noise that you might hear spirit what animal spirit should the divine masculine embrace for taurus what animal spirit should the divine masculine embrace for taurus hmm it almost came out it didn't come all the way out. Spirit, what animal spirit should the divine masculine embrace for Taurus? Keep it simple, spirit. Thank you. 
saw that one earlier and it ended up coming out very nice okay um with the making magic deck here um we're gonna ask uh what will you manifest with your person okay spirit what will they what will taurus manifest with their person what will taurus manifest with their person keep it simple spirit what will taurus manifest with their person what will taurus manifest with their person that's two what will Taurus manifest with their person? Okay. Well, we had some flippers too, but I'm going to go ahead and take them. So you've got... Ooh, Taurus, y'all got a lot. Okay. So I'm going to get these out so I can see them all here. Okay, and then just the same as I did for Aquarius, I'll also pull some Tell the Truths, um, which is a 78 card deck um, here with some uh, channeled messages from Spirit uh, to see what your person would say, 2626, okay? So let's get into um, your goddess and animal spirit uh, for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminines, this is your goddess spirit that you should embrace. Your goddess that you should uh, embrace is Quan Yin, Quan Yin, K-U-A-N, Yin, Y-I-N. Quan Yin revered throughout Asia for thousands of years, is the Chinese goddess of infinite mercy and compassion. Her name means she who listens to the sounds, suffering of the world. In the Buddhist tradition, she is an aspect of Avalokitesvara, the Bodhisattva, who sprang from one of the Buddhist, Buddha's tears. She once took the form of Mayo Shan, a woman who was spurned by her father for refusing to marry. Later, Mao Shan sacrificed both arms and legs in order to heal her father. Her appeal is particularly widespread because she gives assistance in this world. She provides the earthly blessings of children, health, and long life, and rescues people from drowning, lightning, and poverty. She is particularly a protector of women. Quan Yin is a symbol of the unlimited compassion each of us can have for ourselves. No matter what the situation is, uh, no matter what the situation, it is possible to treat ourselves with mercy and love. Okay, so that Taurus is your goddess uh, spirit to embrace is Quan Yin. Okay, look her up um, and get, you know, a little bit more deeper into her story. Okay, um, you are a protector um, of this person. Um, I think it bodes well with the strength card being here. You know, while you do have the strength to tame this person, you also have the compassion um, an understanding of the internal struggles that this person may deal with of being very wild, okay? Maybe in their past, um, they may have, you know, cheated um, or, you know, just been kind of like a player um, of sorts, um, but somehow 
I feel like you've sacrificed your own you've sacrificed yourself all that you all that you could give to this person like you sacrificed a lot uh, with Mal Sean she sacrificed both of her arms and legs in order to heal her father okay um, maybe some of the qualities in this person remind you of, of your father um, <clears throat> maybe this person is a father and has children um, but nonetheless you've you've sacrificed a lot to help this person battle their internal struggles okay and i think they recognize your strength for that okay and they don't know what they did to deserve someone like you okay let's go on to the divine masculines divine masculines um get in where you fit in if you feel more um, led to resonate with the divine masculine feminines, then by all means, we both have masculine feminine energies. Uh, this could be either one could be you or your person. Take it how it resonates, pass the rest to the next, okay? Get in where you fit in. Uh, symbolism, uh, we have the peacock, okay? Vision, wisdom, beauty, and guardianship. The many eyes in the peacock's tail feathers are associated with vision and wisdom. In Greek mythology, the bird was a symbol of the goddess Hera, who kept it in her temple as a many-eyed guard. Muslims of Java believe the peacock guards the gate to paradise. In Europe, peacock mythology has varied and depending on the culture may represent a bad omen or symbolize the soul, okay? So vision, wisdom, beauty, and guardianship is a symbolism of the peacock, okay? I feel this person um, feels connected to you um, very deeply they see your beauty you both have great wisdom within both of you um this person makes you feel protected i feel um taurus And they, they feel as though they should protect you, okay? They feel as though they should protect you. They want to be your protector, okay? Very nice. So, what will you guys manifest with your person, okay? So you will manifest the following. This is what came out from the Making Magic um, deck here. Successful career, a happy working environment, pay raises and promotions, okay? The two of you together could manifest quite a lot, okay? Um, this person may be successful um, or is trying to come up in the ranks uh, at their job uh, to better provide for you because they want to provide for you. They know how much you've sacrificed just for them, okay? And they want to return the favor, okay? The next one is water. Working with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement, okay? Water. Okay, so you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, or you could have that in your chart. Uh, 
but work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. So there is going to be some healing within this connection if you guys have been suffering to really get this relationship off the ground and really get that intimacy into your relationship. I feel like, you know, with water being here, it's going to have a chance to kind of be reborn and revitalized um, and refresh. It's going to be very refreshing, okay, um, to really dive deeper uh, into your connection with your person, okay? So then we have Trin Trinka 5, Trinka 5, manifest money and income, triple fives, okay? If you guys play the lottery, y'all might want to play triple fives, okay? But definitely between the two of you, I feel like you're going to have a lot of abundance together, okay? Somehow you two will possibly be able to collaborate with one another um, in some shape, form, or fashion outside of your regular everyday work, okay? Um, which would be amazing, um, in my opinion. Uh, the next one is star. The silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. Okay, the star. All right, I feel like this person really, like I said before, with the knave of swords being here or the knight of swords, they see you, they admire you so much. You are their, their guiding light um, is what I'm hearing. Okay, they they would do anything for you because you have sacrificed so much. Okay, they know that you have from patience to having mercy on them, compassion, you're compassionate. Um, you have healed them in a sense. Um, like I said, you've been able to tame the wild beast within them. Okay, and they never thought they could find anyone that could, uh, that they would want to be good for, you know. The next one is Triple Spiral. Listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons. Okay, you have, between the two of you, I feel like you have taught each other a variety of lessons. Um, about their past and their present um, and how they want to move forward. So they have gained or will be gaining a lot of wisdom um, slowly but surely just from talking to you. Um, and maybe that is a, a point within your relationship that you guys need to talk more, have deeper conversations that really open up the, that intellectual communication uh, or connection, if you will. Okay. Um, the next one, uh, the last one here is breaking bad habits, breaking bad habits. Okay. Self-acceptance, excellent mental health and letting go of vices, okay? So between the two of you, but I feel so more so like you, Taurus, um, have let go of a lot of bad habits. Um, this person may be giving up some things, you may be giving up some things uh, that maybe cause them to do things that they shouldn't be doing, okay? If drinking forces them to indulge in entertaining other people, then they're gonna cut back drinking just, just for you. Or if there's something, and vice versa, if there's something that maybe an ex did um, that you didn't approve of and you bring it up to this person, um, they will probably try to stop just for you because they're like, they don't want to want you to be the only one having to sacrifice something. Okay. So whatever they can do to please you, they will. Okay. 
because they want this to work. So that being said, we're going to go in with the tell the truth. Like I said, this is a 78 card. I got 78 cards. I might have to buy some more because I still can't sometimes get downloads. So I'm going to have to get some more cards here. But we're up to 78 with the tell the truth deck here. So one, two, three. Spirit, what does Taurus's person have to say to them? What would Taurus's person say to them right now? What would Taurus's person say to them right now? Oui. What would Taurus's person say to them right now? Okay. Spirit said that's enough. All right. I was about to stop before I shuffled some more, but nonetheless, I want you guys, I'm a little biased. I do a little bit more just for my Taurus game. Okay, so something that I said earlier, okay, has came out. So your love is divine. Your love is divine. I'm trying. I broke my promise. I broke my promise. I'm scared of you. When uh, the song I Wish I Never Met Her, uh, I Wish by Carl Thomas, I Wish I Never Met Her, I Wish I Met You First, okay? Like I said, I think they are thinking about their ex and the fact that they wish they would have met you first before they met their ex, okay? Um, so they could be suffering from some traumatic experience with their ex, their ex prop or exes that probably put them through the ringer. Uh, and this one, let's talk. Let's talk. Okay, so maybe you guys haven't talked in a while um, or have been kind of neglecting to have a talk about your relationship here um, to really determine what it is that you guys are doing. Um, like I said, they truly admire you. Um, they're intimidated with the I'm scared of you. Uh, this is like they're intimidated by you because of your wisdom, because of your strength. Um, they know you don't take no shit. Okay, Taurus. Um, you may have a little bit extra mixed into your chart here, but um, they know you don't take no mess. Okay. Um, and you will let them know. Like I said, with the justice card being here, and these two swords, you come in with nothing but honesty, whether they like it or not, okay? Um, I broke my promise. Maybe this person promised you something um, in the past or recent past, um, and they realized that they broke their promise to you, um, this could be a past life uh, relationship as well, um, where they realize they broke their promise um, to you. Okay, whatever that promise is, only you two know. Okay, but that's all I have for you, Taurus. I hope you guys enjoyed this spread. Please like, share, and subscribe if you did. Like I said, I will be trying to do these uh, intimacy readings every other week um, in between regular tarot. And you can also follow me on Golden Abstracts on Instagram for your self-care message. See if this kind of resonates with your tarot and your self-care reading. Be advised that the self-care readings are a lot longer. You can kind of listen to those like a podcast, if you will. So if you're at work, uh, just chilling or whatever, you got things to do, you can put that on because it's literally, it's, it's pretty long. I try to keep these ones over here on YouTube a little shorter if I can. Um, 
but um, I just want you guys to have a really full, in-depth reading as much as possible with a little bit of good advice mixed in there as well. So, hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.